Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with another video blog. And the topic of this episode is anodizing. Now, if you've seen our video blog or, or read the written version that we did on aluminum, you'll understand why we have chosen 6061 T6 aluminum as the material for making LZ modular flashlights. And that material looks like this in its machined form. And we need to take this part and all of the exterior parts of an LZ modular flashlight and make it extremely hard for great durability and toughness. And the way we do that to transform this into this is a process called anodizing. Now there's lots of great material online. You can find a Wikipedia articles, for example, that go through the electrochemical process to anodize aluminum. We're not gonna go through all of those details here today. But we wanna talk about some of the things that are important when looking for a tactical flashlight. Namely, not all anodizing is created equal. You'll mainly find two types in the industry, and it's simply called type two and type three. The type three is a true hard anodizing that's used on all LZ modular flashlights and other high-end flashlights. We wanna take a look at the extreme differences between the type two that you might see on a cheap flashlight or on a cell phone body or something with lots of vibrant colors, but isn't gonna have the kind of durability needed for two true tactical tools, and then the type three hard anodized that's used on LZ modular flashlights. So let's take a look at a very simple test that will demonstrate the extreme difference between a simple type two and a true type three hard anodizing. All right, to demonstrate the difference, the tremendous difference between common type two anodizing and a true type three hard anodizing, I've got here a couple flashlights. This is just your typical Chinese flashlight. Uh, type two anodizing, just a standard mill file. And we're just gonna go lightly a few times back and forth. And you can see very quickly, we go straight to bare metal. Goes through that thin little uh, type two anodizing with very little effort. Take the same file on an LZ modular flashlight that has a true type three hard anodizing. And we go back and forth and we can see just a slight shiny spot as we're basically polishing the hardened anodized surface with the file. You can go back and forth far more with far more pressure than what I did on the Chinese one, still nowhere through the surface. Well, as that simple file test showed, there's a big difference in hardness and therefore durability between a common type two and a true type three hard anodized surface. Now, something else to note is that Type three hard anodizing produces a natural dark gray finish. And if you were fortunate enough to get one of the limited edition stealth gray LZ modular flashlights that we came out in 2014, you'll see what that natural color looks like before it was dyed. Now when it's dyed, it can only be dyed darker. So that's where you get the beautiful matte black finish that you're used to seeing on an LZ modular flashlight. But they cannot be dyed lighter. So when you see flashlights that claim to be hard anodized, but yet they're a light desert sand or dark earth color, you can know that it's not a true type three hard anodized surface. Now some of the limited editions we've had that have been other colors have been Cerakoted over a type three hard anodized substrate. So you're getting that hardness and then a light color coated over the top. But when it's a true anodized surface, if you see light colors, it's not truly hard. So, you don't want to take a file to your flashlight to determine whether or not it's truly a hard anodized surface. So make sure you buy from a reputable manufacturer that tells you they're using type three hard anodizing on their flashlights and make sure that it's hard enough for hardcore use. 